Good afternoon. And we start uh, our proceedings as usual with time for reflection. And uh, our time for reflection leaders today are Brogan Carberry and Zena Buaza, Lessons from Auschwitz Ambassadors for the Holocaust Educational Trust. In October of 2018, Zena and I took part in the Lessons from Auschwitz project for the Holocaust Educational Trust. We met a survivor, joined a visit to Auschwitz Birkenau, and then shared what we learned with our school. The experience was a massive learning curve. We learned how extremely fragile human life is. Our understanding of the Holocaust was also challenged. We know the Holocaust was a systematic killing of six million Jews. However, we began to understand that the Holocaust isn't just about statistics. It's about the individuals behind that number who had families, goals, and aspirations. Standing at Auschwitz where so many were murdered was an extremely emotional experience. When I arrived and saw the hair, shoes, and personal belongings taken from the Jews upon arrival, it really shocked me. One item in particular stood out, a set of house keys. These keys symbolized the hope of the owner who on the day were forced from their home would have locked their door in belief that someday they would return. Unfortunately, they never did. Last year, our school were privileged to have Holocaust archiver Harry Brebering visit and share his experience of escaping the Nazi persecution in Vienna. He came to Britain from his, home, from his home in Vienna on the Kinder Transport. We learned so much from him despite our age difference. We all related to Harry telling us about the time he was no longer allowed to ice skate, a sport he really loved, because he was Jewish. I can't imagine the sadness he must have felt. Harry Bibbering remains positive despite what he went through, and he said to us, the only race is the human race, and these words really stayed with me. On the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz, I would like you all to consider Harry's words. The Holocaust must never be forgotten, and the victims deserve to be remembered. Sorry, remembered. And for young people around Scotland, I would like to ask, as we look towards our future, instead of fearing or belittling our differences we, should see, we see around us, we should cherish them. We are lucky to live in a country that understands and supports the belief that no matter our race, gender, or belief, we are all equals. We must all stand up to anti-Semitism, racism, and intolerance wherever we may see it, because we know where it can lead. Thank you. Thank you.